Total crypto market cap, altcoin market cap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, price predictions for 2024 and beyond. We're going to cover where we're at now, where we're headed to, and where we could extend to for this imminent to max 100 days until the greatest bull run of all time kicks off. So if you're new here, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a like and a comment, share this with every Bitcoin, Ethereum, and just overall crypto holder that you know, because the total market cap of crypto and the altcoin market cap of crypto and where those could extend to is very critical to know if you're an altcoin holder or just a crypto holder in general. So share this with everybody you know that holds crypto and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and leave a comment of what crypto you want me to do this for next. We're doing this a ton. We already did XRP, XLM, HBAR, XCC. And now we're going to do a rapid fire machine gun Bobby on total crypto, total three Bitcoin and Ethereum. So right off the gate, we got the total crypto market cap. And this is what we've been doing. We've been throwing up the Stargate snakes, the Stargate Fib forecaster and the Stargate signals. So where we're at now for the total crypto market cap is 1.07 trillion. And as you can see, we have that vertical blue buy now signal on the three day chart. I'm going to hide the snakes real quick so you can see it. So yeah, we got that three day buy now signal that was confirmed. We've been up ever since. And on top of it, on this micro Fibonacci retracement, we broke above that 786, came back down, retested as support and had a three day candle close above it and above where we drew this original Fib from this high down to the low, broke up above the 786, hit the 1618 extension, came back down to retest that 786, candle body close above it. And uh, yeah, and it looks like we're starting to press up still. Keep in mind, it is Saturday, October 7th, 1120 PM. And tomorrow we got the weekly candle close. So we're going to have to see how this pans out in the short term, but this is a video on 2024 and beyond baby. So we're going to cover potential price targets of where we could go to right off the gate. We need to hold that 1.055 trillion. Definitely critical to hold that level because if we look left, you can see that we had support here when we had our dips down, those were those crash moments, but then we got back above and then we did down rejection, rejection. So like this level 1.055 trillion is very critical for us to hold. So that's in the short term where we could extend to in the short term is 1.10 trillion. And it's very critical we get above that level. So let's look at the momentum. And right now the momentum is screaming up, but we'll have to see how this pans out in the short term. So now let's go to what we're all been waiting for, the bigger picture here. I'm gonna throw those snakes back on and this is where we're at. So for the total crypto market cap to break out into an all out mania rally, new all time highs across the board, all these coins, we're gonna need to break above here. 2.22 trillion to 2.3 trillion. If we can break above that 786 from this high of the bull market top back in November of 2021 to the bear market low back November of 2022, and now we're getting close to going into November of 2023, then if we can break above that point, then we could extend to, which is coinciding with the red zone here, which as you can see by looking to the past, we usually get to the red zone or in the red zone, like back here in 2017, and then back here in 2021, we touched the underbelly of the red zone. So where we could extend to is right to that 1618 extension and in the midst of that red zone, which is at 7.25 trillion dollars for the entire crypto market cap. So we're going to mark that level right there. And then another level we could go to is 30 trillion market cap and these other ones which I eventually think that we could hit like 124 trillion, potentially even 300 trillion for the market cap. I don't think that's coming in 2024, but we could say beyond, we could say beyond that's for sure by the end of this decade, which would be absolutely massive. And I totally believe that could be the case by the end of this decade. We're talking about crypto. We're talking about these blockchain DLT protocols that are enabling the tokenization of everything. So, I mean, I could do it. I'm going to pull it up all the world's money in one visualization. This is back in 2020 and even derivatives were at quadrillions, you know, quadrillions. Imagine all the, the derivatives tokenized real estates at 360 trillion. Imagine all that tokenized. You know what I'm saying? So definitely possible, but not 2024. So we're just going to say that is the super moon. That's the ultimate end all be all at that point. So let's mark that zone with a rectangle. That's our super moon, our super moon. But let's take a look at that's 7.3 trillion and that 30 trillion and how likely it is. So if we take kind of the last bull run from us getting out of this green zone to when we got over the red zone, we could take from here 
to here and then we can match it up saying like all right say we get out of this green zone now i'm not saying the timing like right now we're gonna get out of this green zone but the extension of where that could bring to is to that super moon around 100 trillion but like i said not 2024 this is saying like could be in 2026 but let's take now the the bull run back in 2020 when we got out of that green zone match it up right here as well too and this is saying we could get to that 1618 extension level and see the crypto market cap at a, like 9.5 trillion, which is, I could see that being the case and being realistic, the bull run going into 2024. Not saying it's gonna happen the first quarter, but we could see it by the end of the year. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but I'm just showing you the technicals and the past, matching it up to where we're at now, showing you the current levels where we're at and the extension levels of where we could go to and they match, they absolutely match. So. For the total crypto market cap, I think we could see 7.3 to 10 trillion, the next bull market top. And when that could happen, it could happen by the end of 2024 or early 2025. So first off, the key level that we need to break above is above this green zone. We're in the midst of it. And if you look to the past, you know, nothing crazy happens until we get out of the green zone. So like back here, October 2015, when we got out, boom. Then back here, like June 2019, we got out, but it was it was too early in the cycle. We came back in. Then when we got back out over here, that's when we, we fired up. And we haven't been above the green zone ever since back in April of 2022. So it's been a bit. It's probably going to be you know close to two years by the time we get out of this zone. So if we take a look at where that level is, that is currently sitting at 1.33 trillion. So 1.33 trillion is right there. And let's take a look at Kind of where we're at now so for us to get above that green zone we first need to take out 1.1 trillion so if we can take out that 786 here then we could see us get to that above that green zone because the 1618 extension is showing us 1.4 trill and then 2.6 trill and then the 3618 extension of this medium move breakout is coinciding with that key macro 786 that we need to break above to see seven to 10 trillion. So first we need to hold above 1.055 trill. And then if we can come up here and break above 1.18 trillion, then I, I could see us quickly going to 1.44 trillion. And then if that's the case, and we can really break above there with force, we're gonna come here to 1.8 trillion. And then we could see 2.23 to 2.33 trillion. And that's gonna be that level that if we smash above, we're going into price discovery. But if we get rejected hard we crash down you know it could lead to another year of downwards movement before trying to gear up again because the 786 is such a key level it signifies if we can break above you know price discovery if we get rejected by it we could end up coming back down and going lower even though i don't think that's gonna be the case so that's what i'm seeing right there now i'm gonna take this fib forecaster off real quick and we're gonna look at the past bull run to bear market and we're gonna take the high down to the low and see if there's any kind of things matching up and to a t from the high down to the low in the last, and let me hide the snakes. From the high down to the low, we hit the 1618 extension. Then we pull back down, retested this top over here, like key market structure, like to a T came down, support, support. That was the past 2017, 2018 bull run top. And we've held it fine ever since. So where could this extend to? The 2618 extension, 24.65 trill. So we have another kind of zone that we could see line up right up here and then another one 3618 extension that lines up at 210 trill i'm going to mark the 1618 extension because it's going to be key that we break above there or we would have a triple top which is not good so let me now delete this and here's where we're at level we need to hold 1.055 trillion if we don't we could come back down to retest this base again um, and have a triple bottom do i think that's likely not without a black swan so 1.055 trill First level we need to take out to see us get out of this green zone is 1.18 trail. Then if we can get above that green zone, it's likely we're gonna come up to 1.81. At that point, we need to break above this zone, 2.22 to 2.32, which is coinciding with that purple line here as well, which was critical resistance, resistance, resistance. We broke above, we we found price discovery, came back down to hell of support. Then when we broke it here, we went into our bear market. So that coinciding here is showing us, yeah, that's our key kind of point that if we can break above, we're going to new all-time highs. So that's gonna be that zone. If we can break above there, very likely we're gonna just melt straight up to the previous all-time high at 2.9 trillion. So our mini moon is for this, is going up to that 786, because that's still a massive move. You're gonna see a lot of coins do very well even with that taking place. Then if we can break above that level, our mini moon, mini, 
even though it's not many because it's a substantial move up. It's about seven times for the total crypto market cap up to this zone up here from 7.3 trillion to 10 trillion, which matches with our red zone. Then our medium moon is 24 trillion to 30 trillion. And our super mega moon is up here 125 trillion to 300 trillion, which I do not think that will happen in 2024. I don't think that's even up for debate. I don't even think 24 to 30 trillion would happen in 2024. But could we see 7.3 trill to 10 trill by the end of 2024? That's up for debate too, but it's definitely realistic. You know, a lot of things matching up with that. The FIB forecaster, the snakes, the past fractals, as well as it's reasonable to say, you see that number. Yeah, I could see seven to 10 trillion, you know? So let me know in the comments if you think that is possible that we could see that if you're new to crypto or if you've been in crypto for a while and you still don't feel like you have a strategy then we have the perfect thing for you because it's one thing to have a strategy but it's another thing to automate that strategy so what we're doing right now is a waterfall flash sale this is the start of week one we just launched our stargate automated experience which gives you access to utilize our custom automatic trading bots that we built for XRP, XLM, HBAR, Algorand, and a bunch of other altcoins. If you're sick and tired of watching the charts every single day, worrying, stressing, guessing about prices, and if it's gonna go up or down, then look no further than this, because this is the holy grail for any crypto holder or trader. You can see that. For the altcoin market cap, now I'm gonna go quicker on this one. We really need to get above the green zone. We get above the green zone, then we can go and touch that red zone, just like the past times. So see, we get out of the green zone, we go to the red zone. We get in the green zone until we get out, we can go to the red zone. We're in the green zone still. So we really need to get above 500 billion. But first we need to get above 335 billion. If we can get above there, then we're gonna come up to around 360 billion, which we need to get above. And then we could extend to, and likely would extend to above this green zone at 530 billion. And then the big kahuna that we need to break above for all coins to go on price discovery is 850 billion. And it's very likely if we can do that, we're gonna quickly move up to 2.62 trillion. That's where that red zone is. And let me actually just mark this right here. And then we're gonna see 10 trillion, 2618 extension. And then we have here the 40 trill to 95 trill. So this matches up with that total crypto market cap as well too, because if we now do the rectangle here and draw this, this is our super moon for all coins. This is our medium moon, the 2618 here around 10 trillion to 13 trillion. Then our mini moon is 2.62, I would say like 4.6, like here, this zone. And then let's take the last fractal of the last bull market, match it up, see if it's reasonable like that. Yep, that's 2017. Then we can take this, match it up. And this is telling us that the the mini moon scenario, us getting to around 2.6 trillion to around four to five trillion for the altcoin market cap is totally in the realms of a possibility and happening because we had the past fractal in 2017 and then the one in 2020 reaching out to those levels we have the fib forecast or extension targets reaching out to those levels as well as we have the snakes at that level as well too which in the past we touched touch you know and then we we found our buying zones so very possible if the total crypto market cap can get to seven to ten trillion i see the altcoin market cap going to around three to five trillion if the total crypto market cap can get to 24 to 30 trillion, I see the altcoin market cap going to around 10 to 15 trillion. Then if the total crypto market cap can go to the super moon at 124 to 300 trillion, then I could see the altcoin market cap going to 40 trillion, 100 trillion. I mean, those numbers make sense. Let me know in the comments if you think they do. If they don't, I welcome those comments as well too. So let me know in the comments what you think, possible or not. Then if you go to Bitcoin, Bitcoin, we're going to go to the whole entire history of Bitcoin. And looking at this, you know, the, the red zone, that's where we go to for good times to sell, 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 sell. And then for the green zone for goodbyes, 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 goodbyes. And then if we take a look at the signal flash right now on Bitcoin, we have that three day buy now, which is pretty big because last time we had the three day buy now and then popped out of the green zone. That's when we sent it. It's when we sent it. So we have the three day buy now. Now we just need to get out of that green zone at 32.5K, 32.5K. We get above there, we're gonna quickly melt up, I think. We could see 47 to 50 trillion. I'm sorry, if only 47 to 50K. If we can get to that zone after breaking above 32, 32.5, 33, then 47 to 50K, that's gonna be that critical level. If we can break above there, 
and move with force and there's a narrative and all this stuff to back it up which in 2024 there's a whole lot of it you have to spot bitcoin etf you got uh, having there's a 2024 is like cooking up to be a big year for crypto in the sense of narratives and just the adoption of crypto in general so first level to get above 32.5 to 33k you can do that then 48 to 50k you do that then we could extend to 1618 extension which is around 173,000. then you could potentially see and i do not think in 2024 775 thousand dollars and then there's ones up here that i'm not even going to cover i'm not even going to cover and quite frankly who knows the future of bitcoin and how that can all pan out so take this with a grain of salt but definitely see 173k 173 thousand dollar bitcoin could definitely see a seventy thousand dollar bitcoin could definitely see that us revisit back to 50k and easily could see you know that 33 thousand as well too so those are our levels but where we need to hold that support in the short term is 27 thousand two hundred very key that we hold that level that's where our 786 that we just broke above is at if we don't hold it and we break back down below 26k we could fall down to you know to below sub 20k but only if there's like a black swan globally, I see that happening. It wouldn't just happen out of nowhere. So that's for Bitcoin. Tell me what you think in the comments. You think Bitcoin can break above 33K this year and start to go up to that 47 to 50K by the end of this year? Or you think it's going to happen in 2024? You let me know. But I definitely see Bitcoin at least going to 70K in 2024. I don't know if we could go up over 100K in 2024 it's definitely possible with all the narratives but we'll have to see how that pans out so if you're a bitcoin holder you know those are your targets getting above 33k will get us up to high 40s high 50k and then you're going to want to be watching that level like a hawk because if we get rejected from that level we could come back down in a big way but if we break above that level we could see 80k to around 86k and then potentially even see 150k to around 173k but notice how we look to the past we started to extend past the red you know and then we started to get into the red and then this time we didn't we just like scraped the bottom of the red i would say around 88k to 130,000 is the realistic target for bitcoin for 2024. You let me know in the comments if you think that's realistic. I think it could definitely do it. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Now let's cover Ethereum. But the thing with Bitcoin and Ethereum is they were the first ones. And I'm gonna pull up a thing at the end, so say to the end, as far as the NTT data document back 2017 and how this has been all mapped out ahead of time. And Bitcoin and Ethereum are those prototypes. They're, they're experimental technologies. They already know what blockchain, crypto, DLT will be used for. Bitcoin Ethereum were the early, early ones. The, those were like the MySpaces. So it remains to be unseen how that all unfolds. But for Ethereum, we need to hold 1500 flat. We can hold there then, or if we break below there, we're going to come down to a thousand easily. Cause that's where the pink is, where we held support back here. And that's where the 786 is from the low to the high right there, a thousand easily. So we need to hold 1500. If we break that, we're going to see a 50% haircut. But if we can break up here, above 1900 then we could see 2400 first off that would be slight work in my opinion then 3200 then i would say 5k retest the top but let me see if i have these fibs on long term i do okay so we're gonna just take from the high back here down to the low that we set and we have a mini moon to 12k 13k and then we have a medium moon to around 63K. And then we have a super moon to over 300K, which I don't think is possible. In my opinion, I don't think it's possible. But I could see it, you know, down the line, not 2024, I could see a 63K. You could see a 63K of Bitcoins above 200K or 100K. We could see that, but I don't think it's possible in the near future at all. But I could see a 13,000 Ethereum easily for the next bull run top. I could see 13K, the levels to watch. 1500 if we break 1500 we're coming down to a thousand we need to break above 1900 if we can do that we're going to easily come up to 2400 2500 then we'll come up to 3300 and at that point it's going to be the big test because if we can break above there hold that support i think we'll melt straight back up to 5k and then if we break above there i think we quickly see 13k quickly see it but let me just grab some other targets like the bull market top back here 2017 to the bear market bottom in 2019 and we have some confluence like this 1618 breakout extension at 9700 and then there's the 2618 up here which mm, I, I i don't think i don't think we could see that so we have our 
super super moon for Ethereum from 186,000 to 300,000. Don't think it's possible, but you know, we'll put it there. Then we have our realistic mega super moon at 61k. 60k 55k way down the line not 2024 then we have our realistic mega moon for ethereum to keep in mind ethereum and bitcoin have much more of a market cap so their mega moons aren't as mega as like some like xcc or hbar or, or xrp or xlm so this is our realistic mega moon for ethereum 9800 to 13000 here's our mini moon for ethereum up to around 5k to 3,300. Well, that's our medium moon. And then our little mini moon, that's just getting back like 2,500, a little, little double up, double. Double for Ethereum. If we go to our mini moon up to here, our medium moon is back up to all time highs, which is only 250%. And our mega moon, I would think, would be up to 9,800, 13,000, which is only an 8X, but that's what you're gonna see with these bigger coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum. That's why we're in the XRPs, XLMs, XECs, you know, because First off, the utility is much bigger, as well as the, the potential gain is greater. So that's what it is for Bitcoin, Ethereum, the altcoin market cap, total crypto market cap. You let me know in the comments what other coins you want me to cover and I'll do it. We got that flash sale. It ends today. Week one ends today. The biggest discount of the six-week flash sale that we're doing. Week one, 60% off. You want to automate a strategy? You don't even want to worry about all this stuff. One hour max setup time. We get you kitted up with the coins you want for trading bots. And then you're on autopilot and you can rest assured that you'll have an automated strategy and an army of robots taking these trades for you when you're tied up with all the, all the great things that life gives, right? So that's going to be it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Send this to every crypto holder you know. Let them know. The levels, tell them to get their calculators out because pretty soon here, life could change for all of us. So... I'll see you guys in the next video and in the Discord link is in the bio for that. And until next time. Are you sick and tired of just stressing and guessing, holding and hoping and watching the crypto market go through its ups and downs and not doing anything about it? If you're someone in that position, then look no further than the Stargate automated experience. We just launched it and we built custom automated trading bots for XRP, XLM, HBAR, and a bunch of other utility coins. If that sounds of interest to you and you want to learn more, click the video below and I'll see you over there.